Okay, so this 75 is coming from the monthly time frame. We're on MT5 right now. If you check from the monthly time frame, we have a beautiful, beautiful double top structure where we have the left top and the right top. What you know about double tops, it means the market would have failed to make a higher high. Hence, it's a sign of a major reversal pattern. Double tops are uh, one example of uh, major reversal patterns that we have. It means the, ma the market is obviously reversing to the opposite direction of where it was going. For example, forming a reversal pattern like a double top. So if a double top is the neckline, as we all know, the neckline here, double top, neckline, the market broke below the neckline, retested. So according to the monthly time frame already, we can see that we are below the neckline, meaning the, the probability of VIX 75 selling for this whole month and even the following month is very, very high. The probability of VIX 75 selling for this whole month and the following month is very, very high. Why am I saying that? Double top, neckline, simple as that. So this candle here, just close bearish, followed by the next 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 candle. So the uh, next level that I'm looking forward to the market to come to is this level, which is an area of support. So this is the next TP that we might be looking at for swing sales. This is the next TP that we might look at. Moving down to the weekly, moving down to the weekly, right. On the weekly, you realize that the double top, this is the double top, right? Our double top is so clear. Neckline, that's our neckline. So, double top neckline, you realize that we have the 50x financial moving average with this one. It's above the market. And when it's above the market, it means the probability of the market selling is higher than it buying. Meaning, when the moving average is above the market like that, it means, uh, the path of least resistance on this market is going down. The path of least the path of least res least resistance is to go down. So here you realize that it broke above, broke below, broke above, broke below. So right now, the next candle, I expect at least maybe after this one, after this candle, after this week's candle, I expect the next candle maybe for next week to retest this level, retest back this level, then sell like this so already we can see the projection that we're having for the big 75 also how did we also manage to get some selling opportunities how did we manage to get some selling opportunities we use this trend line right this trend line very very key check 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 properly first touch second touch third touch there on the third touch, even here on the third touch, first touch, second touch, third touch here, fourth touch, fifth touch. Here we got the sell, same as here, we also got the sell there on the third touch. So third touch there, one could have started selling for the participant five. So right now what I'm anticipating is a pullback, a pullback back into this level. Since it went outside, came down, went outside again, came down. So the next candle, I expect the retest. Once it pulls back here, some of are into the resistance, which is also a trend line and also a moving average. Then we can take sales again all the way to this level of major support. So already we are showing you the overall direction that we are looking at for volatility 7.5. Moving down to the daily, moving down to the daily, we just want to identify if ever there are any reversal areas that we might have uh, for the VIX any reversal areas that we might might we have this right so we have this support here the market closed below the sub it, 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 it opened and went below the support so today's the daily candle the way it's going to close as well it's also very very key very very fundamental the way today's daily candle is going to close is very key very fundamental so these are my zones that i'm looking at for maybe taking partial profits or shifting my stop losses once the market comes to the next zone, I shift my stop loss maybe the zone before that. So here you realize that with this zone, broken out, came back in. So what I know about major zone, once the market breaks in like this, it has to come back, give us air, retest, then go. 
So if ever it does like this, this is actually a head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, then this one becomes your neckline. This one becomes your, your neckline. So how do you enter a trade using the head and shoulder pattern, right? Either you enter on the shoulders. One way is to enter on the shoulders whereby you sell there on the, on the shoulders, right? Selling on the shoulders or selling even after the break of the neckline. So either you sell on the right shoulder or here after the break of the neckline. Both of uh, people are correct. First TP here, second TP, this uh, major support here. So already we're showing you how one could have benefited out of what is happening. Also, this was the trend line for the sales. This was the trend line for the sales. Touched, boom, one, two, three, four, almost five days of selling. Five days of selling without a pullback. That is the power of this strategy that we are using. That is the power of the strategy that we are using. So, well, it's 75. That is the breakdown. We started on the monthly, went on to the weekly. Now we're on the daily. So right now, this this uh, resistance here, uh, which was a support, is actually very key because today's daily candle, if it closes above, if today's daily candle closes above this zone, if today's daily candle closes, if today's daily candle, if this daily candle closes above this one, the probability of having some buys, which will be like pullback buys, to the neck, to the right, right shoulder, they are very high. So meaning, if ever we did, we did pull back uh, around the 61.8, 50 level, that's where I'll be expecting selling opportunities. We get the selling opportunities, then we ride from there, break off the neckline, we add more trades, TP1, TP2, just like that so week 75 if ever you didn't enter the cells from the top there if ever you didn't enter the cells from the top there right now wait for the daily candle to close above here once it close above there we get buys all the way to create a right shoulder once we create a right shoulder we also enter cells there from there we also enter cells after the break of the neckline tp1 tp2 simple just as simple as that so this is the breakdown of of VIX 75, not no need for us to go to the H4, H1 because right now we're waiting for the daily candle to close above this zone. You can also wait maybe for the four hour. If ever one wants to enter maybe today, uh, you can wait for the four hour once it breaks and closes above this zone. You see that it was a major support here. Support, support. So market is below. If it closes above, it means we can get some buyers all the way to that zone there. Right. You can also utilize this trend line. You can also utilize this trend line as well. Something like this. So, expecting something like this. Break, retest. Then, boom. Something like this. So, if it, if, if that happens, we jump into the into those buys. I would love it to break this counter trend line. If this counter trend line is broken, we can actually take buys on. Well, just, in fact, knowing that we're expecting it to come back to this level, which also happens to be a level of uh, supply, supply is on there as well. So that is what we are looking at for the volatility of the 75. Just a quick repetition, just a quick repetition of what we spoke about. We started and looked at the monthly. On the monthly, we realized that we have a double top, double top, as you can see, neckline. Market broke the neckline, we just did right now. We're coming from uh, the candle after the retest. Okay, beautiful. You can also realize that the market tapped into this supply here. Credibility tapped into the supply. So right now we're not going. So the probability of not going is very high. That's why I say it can sell the whole of this month. Uh, if not this month and next month. Right. So this is this is it. This is it. Um close to below the neckline, which is support. So we expect the test pullback, then boom. Daily we broke down. And we said we're expecting the pullback to happen. Pullback. If this daily candle close above here, we get the pullback around the level. Then we sell all the way TP1, meaning this is going to be a swing trade. Um, we sell here, we hold neckline, first TP, TP2, TP3. Just as simple as that. So make sure that you are subscribed as we're going to be uh, sharing with you how Big 75 will be moving. Uh, as from today, going forward, we're going to be sharing with you how it's going to be moving 
and also sharing with you some of the entry points that we'll be getting from the So make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and you don't miss any single uh, episode that we are going to release of this particular strategy that we are using. Thank you for watching.